Yeah, in talking about the, the boss, when you, you bought a boss also, do not um, cross in front of the boss because traffic will not be uh, stopped. So that simply means that if you come down the bus, right, you do not need to go in front of the bus because there is a certain vehicle that might come on the way. So you have to keep at the side of the bus, right? So whenever you are in public transportation, you have to watch your step when you are coming down the bus and you wait for the bus to stop before you can come down. Then um, point number three, when possible, when possible, use the a busy or a you know like when lights or bus stops to get down off or on so always make sure that when you want to come down the bus you have you should try to alert the driver to stop you in the bus stop which is more safety where there's a parking which is more safe right then i'm going to talk about another point talking about taxi right when we're talking about taxi uh the the precaution safety precaution in taxi number one you have to research a, a, a reputable taxi company in your area right for example those ubers or people that are doing transportation you have to make sure that maybe you're familiar to the driver you have your personal taxi right so you first have to shout for the driving driver driver and know that oh this one is a good person so point number two also taxi um are easy to identify by their color right mark marking like yellow colors it depends on the county and also the model do not accept to ride from an unmarked uh, unmark, um, taxi and mark vehicle right so you have to be vigilant right about these things uh if you want to take a taxi you should take a taxi but some of the private car you never know what is might going on right then point number three in the taxi note that um, the company names and the cap numbers and the driver's names and taxi driver IDs and photograph, right? So you have to be vigilant of the driver, try to ask some little questions and also try to jot down the numbers or you can take photo of the car before entries. It depends on how you want to do it, you know, because I've seen some of um, like the, the Western people uh, before they enter a car, a cab, they will just take a photo of the cab and send it to their relatives or trust what trust person, you know, in case of anything. Then also in this taxi also you have to with point number four, you have to put on a seat belt, right? So always try to make sure that you put a seat on a, a seat belt because in case of accident, anything can occur. A seat, seat belt can also help. These are also safety precaution, right? Then we're talking about um, cycle, uh, cycle safety, right? Cycle safety. You know, cycling is becoming more popular as the environments are friendly and uh, low cost and uh, effective, right? Of this transportation, like uh, a cycle, cycle, right? Alternative as well as the fun or healthy um, recreation activities, you know, uh, no voice, right? On or experience of cyclists needed to make a safety or a top priority. This tip also will help you, it will help um, in safe in safety of a road. So this simply means a cycle also is a very simple uh, transportation, right? And it also can help in health-wise, right? When you are cycling, you know. Then I'm talking about the safety, right? Um, the safety precaution of this cycle also, number one, safety equipment begin with the elements, right? You have to wear an element and approved elements can also reduce a, 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 a risk of an head injury by up to 80% in the event of an accident or in addition. This simply means that in case of accidents you are cycling, you have to put on a helmet, the safety gears, because if you hit your head on the floor, it can also help you, right? It can prevent your head to damage like 85%. 
right? So you have to wear a, 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 a brightening uh, color, right? Like a reflector or reflective cloth, so you can be you can be seen during the day or even in the evening, morning or night, right? When you wear a reflector, you know. However, to avoid riding your bike at night, you should always carry a small first aid kit, right? For in case of emergency. So when you are riding a cycle, you have to most of the time carry a, a, a safety box, they call it first aid box, in case of anything can happen or if somebody can help on the way in case of emergency. So it's very necessary, you know. Then um, in uh, point number two, you have to keep your bike, your bike, uh, in a very good shape uh, and also make sure that all parts are in good repaired right you have to take it periodically for service your bike right and also check your brakes whether your brakes are working then the, the tires you know and also the gear often you have to check it then also having a bicycle safety uh, a, a bicycle safety bike uh, experts to teach you the, the basic so that you also can continue to the route maintenance also you, your bike your bicycle also should be a quick with reflectors and lights right so this simply means that the reflector should also be on your back bike in case of night time so this reflector will help um, the, the a vehicle a higher vehicle to know that someone is using the uh, cycle right so looking at this uh, perspective we're talking about the fourth point we are in you also that is riding this bicycle you have to follow all traffic rules right all, all traffic rules and bicycle are also considered as a vehicle or a cyclist should also obey the same traffic laws as a motorist, uh, motorist right like motors and travel on one right side on the road also also you should also use the right side also or the left hand side same way the vehicle that are moving on the same lane also then also if you see a sign like stop sign on the signal you have to try to to stop right then also if you you can use a proper hand off signal before you can cross to the other lane so this also is a measure how we can uh, cycle safety then also point number four you have to check out your cycle the routes sometimes the main road may not be the safest way to to travel by bike so look into an alternative road um, route with less motors or vehicle traffic you know or it's better road condition so the city have uh, so the city um, will have uh, even more implemented lanes for cyclists right so the city also needs to provide more lanes for cycles people are using bicycle you understand so in this in this uh point number four is talking about the safety measures and the road which you can use if you know that there's uh, there is more vehicle on the main highway so you have to avoid this highway then you use the the like the 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 the, the 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 way we are people are using you have to be careful right then i'm talking about the five uh, points here the five points in cycle safety is to find a correct fit and the most important factors in cycle is to find a bike that is fits you properly right you should not find bike that is more higher than you or more smaller than you you should be able to stand just just over the top of the bar of the bike and with your feet and flat on the ground right a professional at a bike a shop can also assist you into fitting or to put to adjust your bike in an appropriate way to conceptualize all this one bicycle safety also you should follow the rules right you should wear your gears put on your full element gears and also have a reflectors also right then also you have to check your bike regularly for in case of any accident any
faults you have to check this one then also you have to um, check the woods that you are using if you notice that the main highway is congested is not safe for you. you have to use another route right then also you have to um follow the rules and the regulations in terms of when you see a, a the light the signal light it, it's on stop mood you really have to be stop you have to follow these rules right also then also you have to find a, a correct uh, a, a correct or a correct or proper bike that can suit you that you know that it is uh, you know at least you can be convenient in that bike yeah so i stop here in cycle safety